Hi darlings, welcome back. Today is the first day of September and super on the ball I have to share with you my what's new in my wardrobe for September video. It's earlier than usual in the month because there is one particular thing that I'm actually going to unbox with you in this video that I cannot wait any longer. So without further ado, I'm going to share with you what is new in my wardrobe from the last month, some new additions that you may not have seen yet and a few pieces which I featured on my Instagram but not necessarily talked about too much here on YouTube so I don't want you to miss out on anything, no FOMO going on over here, so I'm going to share with you all the new pieces that have come into my wardrobe over the past month. So as always with these videos everything that I talk about will be linked down in the description box below so if you'd like to shop anything or find out any more information about the items then just open up the description box, click show more and there'll be links to everything down below and if you're new here then please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. So let's get started with what I'm wearing right now. This has been my favourite dress over the last few weeks. I got this from Farfetch a few weeks ago and uh, it's just the perfect dress for this time of year. I've had a few more occasions in my diary over the last few weeks. I had a lovely dinner with Bare Minerals. I've got a trip with another brand next week. There are so many occasions when a beautiful floral dress like this is just the absolute perfect thing to wear. I filmed some really gorgeous outfit clips with this which you may have spotted in my what I've been wearing lately video. I'll pop those on the screen now. The silhouette of this dress is just absolutely gorgeous. It is Zimmerman but I picked it up from Farfetch. The silhouette as you can see just fits the body absolutely perfectly. It's got this puff sleeve, a low v-neck and it's just so elegant and I can't wait to wear it so much more over the next coming weeks and months and it's going to be one of those things that I pull out of my wardrobe every spring, every summer and just get so much wear out of. There's something so special about Zimmerman, the way that the dresses are cut, the materials that they use, even the patterns, they're just so lust worthy. It's a brand that I absolutely adore and Farfetch have the most incredible range. They've got so many styles from Zimmerman that I adore. I could honestly spend all of my money on the selection of Zimmerman at Farfetch, but this was the one that caught my eye the most. I thought the v-neck of the dress was a really nice opportunity to showcase a new necklace as well. So Monica Vinader has always been a really big favourite of mine when it comes to jewellery and they've just released a new range of necklaces as part of their I always get this wrong, I can't remember if it's Astra or Alta, but they have the chain bracelets where you can just add your own charms. Unfortunately my bracelet like that sadly got stolen, um, but moving on They've now released the necklace version of the, I think it's Ulta style. So it's this beautiful chunky chain. It comes in rose gold as well as yellow gold and possibly silver as well. I'll have to triple check that. But what I love about them is that they're so personal, so you can really mix and match your charms. I've had some Monica Vinader charms in my existing collection, and then some new ones as well on my wish list. I've got one of their coin pendants, I'll pop a picture of that on the screen here, because I think that would be a really nice way of wearing this necklace with chunky knits as the temperatures cool down. But with something a little bit more dainty and feminine like with this dress, I've just gone for a little rose gold disc and a pink, I believe it's called a Labradorite um, gemstone, which I think is a beautiful, very feminine, combination. The next thing that's new in my wardrobe for September is so new in fact that it is still in the box but that is why I wanted to film this video so soon because I thought it'd be fun to include an unboxing because this is not just any item new in my wardrobe, it is my, what I'm hoping is going to be the bag that I'll be wearing throughout the autumn season and end of summer season with special events and even day to day, like it's the kind of bag that I will wear so much for so many different occasions. It's a brand that I adore, a brand that I particularly adore their footwear, that's a big clue. So without further ado, let's unbox this. The bag is from Farfetch, so as I've mentioned... In previous videos, Farfetch acts as an aggregator, which means they basically pull all the best styles and designs from boutiques all over the world. This, I'm guessing from the um, flag, has come from a boutique in Italy. But I placed this order less than 48 hours ago and it's already here. So very speedy delivery no matter where the items come from. Inside the box is a beautifully presented bag, within a bag, within a dust bag. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to undo this and show you my new handbag. So as you may have guessed, the brand of the bag is Valentino and oh, I just think their bags are always so beautifully made. I'm really quite 
choosy with which obviously designer handbags that I go for and I want to ensure they are the kind of bags that I will wear with so many different outfits and for so many different occasions and when I chose this bag I was thinking about the bags the evening bags in particular that I get the most use out of and the one thing they all have in common is that they are slightly metallic I always think that metallics are like the most beautiful neutral they go with so many different outfits so many different colors and yet because they're metallic and a little bit sparkly just gives them a little little something extra don't you think <laughs> so this bag oh my goodness it's even more of a beautiful color than I thought it was gonna be <gasps> oh my goodness she's perfect <laughs> so I have gone for this beautiful little almost like an envelope bag would you call it an envelope bag or a clutch bag from Valentino the brand that I absolutely adore it is from their new season collection the very old school V is having a bit of a resurgence and it's on so many of the new Valentino designs from footwear to belts to handbags to everything in between and this is the first item that I'm adding to my wardrobe with this new V style on it the leather itself is almost like a crackle effect which for me is a huge bonus because it means it's going to be really large hard wearing, really versatile, it's not going to show any marks, it's not going to show any scratches, so it's not the kind of bag that I need to be too fussy and worry about it getting damaged when I am on a night out for example. It's also got a little bit of pink on the inside, so very on brand with my favourite kind of colour scheme. So let's have a little look inside. Okay, so when you open up the first layer, there's like a little envelope section here where you can pop your phone or your credit card, whatever you need to access the most quickly, Oyster card, things like that, and then the main section it's a very clever almost like triple metal clasp system. The main section here is not actually that much bigger than the back section so you can really organise your things depending on how much you reach for them. If I remove the lining you can see spacious enough for the biggest iPhone which is the one that I've got. My vlogging camera will fit in here and then inside in some tissue paper is the strap and it's the same crackle leather as the rest of the handbag. So what I didn't actually realize from the website is that you can very much get away with wearing this just as a clutch or like a little envelope bag like this or you can add the strap. I thought the strap was actually attached. So that's a bonus, you're getting another way of wearing this bag. I'm gonna show you a close up here so you can see what I mean about the leather, the crackle effect and the colors. I would say it's almost a little bit more um, rose goldy in real life than the colors that are showing up here. So I'm excited to style this with so many different outfits. I think it's going to be one of those bags that lasts across all the different seasons at the end of summer for any late summer weddings. I've got or special dinners, special events. I've got things coming up in my diary like film premieres and lovely events with brands, things like that. And I truly think that color wise and design wise this is going to go with so many things in my wardrobe so I'm bound to get an amazing price per wear. If any of these things that I'm mentioning from Farfetch have taken your eye then they have very kindly provided a discount code for you guys. 10% off it only lasts for one week so don't delay I'll leave the discount code on the screen here and also linked in the description box so that is my beautiful new handbag I would love to know what you guys think is it the kind of design that you can see working with your wardrobe or is there another handbag on your wish list for autumn winter let me know down in the comment section down below one more luxury purchase from another of my go-to brands I feel like I've ticked off all my favorite luxury brands of this video with Zimmerman Valentino and now Chloe you guys may recognize this style of sandal because the brown ones which I've had since the beginning of summer I have worn so much, got so much use out of them, have been so surprised by their versatility. So when I saw on Farfetch that they had bought them out in this beautiful pale pink colour, it didn't take me long to add them to the basket. These are so comfortable with the low block heel and the fact that they are slip-on mules. They're just so easy and quick to be the perfect finishing touch to your outfit. The brown I found a really lovely neutral, just so versatile, and the pink I think will go with so many other beautiful outfits in my wardrobe. I'll pop a little clip of um, a way that I styled these on the screen now. I paired them with my Chloe C bag, which was my favourite bag throughout the summer, which I got earlier in the year, in fact in spring, also from Farfetch. Love how they look together, but they look equally as beautiful apart. Even though we're probably coming toward the end of the open toe season, I've already got a lot of wear out of these. I've had them maybe like 10 days and I've probably worn them for nine of those days. And whether it's for an evening event or dressing up a really simple dress for a daytime outfit, I think they are just the perfect addition to my wardrobe. So very pleased to have my second pair of Chloe Mules in my collection. So the last luxury item in this What's New My Wardrobe video, 
I've kept it in the box because I'm kind of 50-50 as to whether I'm going to keep these, so I'd love to know your opinions. They are of a trend that I have mentioned in my trends not to invest in videos in the past, um, but when I saw this pair of chunky trainers, I thought, you know what, if there are any chunky trainers that I can find myself falling in love with, it'll be this pair from Nicholas Kirkwood. So let me show you the chunky trainers that are new in my wardrobe for September 2019. Okay, here they are. So as you can see, very, very bling white trainers, very fresh out the box, and they have got this gorgeous pearl detail in the heel, which is what instantly drew me to them. As I mentioned in a recent video, if there is a trend that you're not too sure about, like chunky trainers, then go for one that also has kind of attributes to it that you are more familiar with, and in my case, a really lovely feminine detail like pearls. So this is where I need your help, because I'm not too sure on how to style chunky, chain, chun chunky trainers. I will definitely be stalking Pinterest and Instagram accounts and seeing how my favourite influencers and celebrities have been styling them but I just want to find a way of making them me so I'm really interested to hear what you guys think do you think I can pull them off were they a good investment I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts so let me know give me your tips down in the comment section below because as far as chunky trainers go I think these are absolutely beautiful and they were my final item from Farfetch so if you are tempted by a pair don't forget you have that 10% off code which you can use for the next seven days I'm going to move on next to some really beautiful new jewellery in my collection. I featured these quite a lot on my Instagram and you guys seem to love them just as much as I do. They are from a brand called Soru Jewellery, S-O-R-U. I have two pairs of earrings from the brand to share with you. The first of which is this pair, which is like a hanging star and moon collection with beautiful pink gemstones. They are such high quality, really beautiful earrings. And despite how intricate and detailed they are, they're really not heavy on the ears either, which is an absolute bonus when you want to wear them all day, every day like I do. Equally stunning is this pair, again with a moon, they love the constellations, and this hanging pearl detail on them. I wore these to a wedding recently and had so many compliments on them, but equally I think if you want to wear plain jeans and a t-shirt, then a fabulous pair of earrings like this is the perfect finishing touch. So if you've not heard of Soru before, I'll leave their website down below. I think their designs are absolutely spectacular. One more final piece of jewellery to mention is another necklace, and it's not too dissimilar to this one here. It's got a very similar kind of chain structure to it, but while Monica Veneta price points are rather premium, this is a lot more affordable, in fact about a tenth of the price. This one is a similar kind of chunky chain, but then you've got that pearl, hanging pearl, down at the bottom, which I think is so beautiful. I have been wearing this with low-cut knitwear, I've been wearing it with t-shirts, I've been wearing it with v-necks. It's just one of those things that styles so effortlessly with your wardrobe, so I'm getting a very good price per wear out of this one, and kind of saving the Monica Vinander one for slightly more special occasions. It really can stand out and be the centerpiece of a look, so two beautiful necklaces, new in my wardrobe for this month. And now I'm going to be a bit of a tease because you might be able to see quite a lot of newness on the rail behind me, but I actually have a few haul videos coming up, so I'm not going to go through all of the new pieces behind me, but let's just say there's a little bit of Reese, there's a little bit of and other stories, there's some really beautiful jumpers and pre-autumn pieces on the rail behind me, so stay tuned for videos next week. I'm filming them all today, um, but they'll be coming very soon. But other things new in my wardrobe include this dress, which many of you spotted in my Cambodia vlog. It is the dress that I wore to Angkor Wat for sunrise. It was absolutely perfect for that. Traditionally, you have to have your shoulders and your knees covered, which this did, and yet I still felt stylish enough to take loads of fabulous photos at Angkor Wat. It's from a brand called Pitusa, Pitusa? I think it's Italian. Um, they very kindly sent this to me and I just absolutely adore it. It needs a good steam, it's just come out the wash. I put it on a very delicate hand wash setting, but I'd really like to discover more from this brand because I think it is a stunning piece for holidays and spring and summer. Something else which needs a steam but I couldn't not mention is my beautiful new silk dress from Needle and Thread. I also got some gorgeous clips of this in Westbourne Grove last week, so I'll pop those on the screen now. I wore this to a race day at Ascot and I'm planning on wearing it to many more upcoming um, end of summer events as well. I just love everything that Needle and Thread do and I think that this is one of the more wearable designs. I love their glitzy embellished ones but the plain silk but beautiful pattern on this I think is really wearable for lots of different occasions in my diary coming up soon. And then from the high street, I have a beautiful new dress from Topshop. I feel like this is a really lovely transitional dress. Lightweight material but 
already giving a nod to those autumn trends of this dark kind of ditzy floral print. It's got a really lovely feminine ruffle detail down at the bottom, a bit of a wrap style on the top here so if you are a big fan of wrap dresses then this is a really nice way of wearing a wrap style dress with long sleeve that's still appropriate for the slightly more warm end of summer occasions. Took some really gorgeous autumnal photos wearing this near Buckingham Palace the other day. I'll pop some of those on the screen here, but I think it's just a really nice one. For more casual occasions with friends, shopping trips, luncheons and things like that, perfect for this time of year. River Island are also bringing out the most beautiful transitional pieces at the moment. This is one of my favourites. I have this dress in long and the short playsuit version. The short playsuit version I featured on my Instagram a couple of days ago. I'll pop that picture up on the screen here and I styled it with a Dior bag that I rented from the Catwalk Club. But I love the floral pattern on here. This one has got a bit of a tie around the waist feature so it's very flattering. Low v-neck so again a great for accentuating a necklace. And this lovely lightweight material which is perfect perfect for this transitional time of year. Next up is this beautiful blouse which I have to say looks a lot better on than it does on the hanger. It's this beautiful kind of satin material with this spiky folded detail around the shoulders which is really unusual but really beautiful. You've got a high neck and I think the simplicity of the main body of the top mixed with the dramatic sleeves is just such a nice design and looks lovely paired with a high-waisted skirt or a way of jazzing up jeans. I'm looking forward to finding more ways of wearing this over the next few weeks and months and I think it's going to be the kind of thing that is a really nice way of transitioning from work to bar or any other after work plans that you may have. From transitional to full on winter I was very kindly sent this coat from River Island and I actually think it is spectacular. Definitely the kind of thing that I'm gonna have to wait a few months I think to wear but you know these things always sell out so quickly. It's only going to be launched on the website on the 10th of September so if you like the look of this and think it'd be the perfect addition to your wardrobe then pop the 10th of September on a marker on your phone. I'll probably do a little reminder on Instagram stories as well. But it's this fabulous robe style coat with faux fur on the sleeves and on the collar. You've got a lovely almost antique effect button and just a really lovely smart coat that I think would be the perfect one for any winter special occasions. Just that coat that's a little bit more than your everyday coat when the temperatures do finally start to drop. At the moment it's about 27 degrees Celsius outside so it makes me sweat just looking at it but I know it's going to be one that I will love when it does get a little bit cooler. And the last few pieces, this beautiful dress which I featured in my what I've been wearing lately video from Topshop, another really fab transitional dress. I love the pattern on this, it's very unusual colours for me, much darker, but I found the silhouette of this really beautiful and wearable. You've got almost like a mossy green and mustard paisley print going on here. It has got a lining and then a lovely frill down at the bottom, paired with some really lovely boots in fact. These are the boots that I styled it with from River Island. I think as the temperatures start to cool and we have so many beautiful dresses from late summer in our wardrobes, a pair of boots like this is the perfect way of transitioning those dresses into a more autumn appropriate outfit and even when the temperatures cool down a lot. Pairing our summer and autumn dresses with thermals and faux fur gilets and a lovely pair of boots, I think it's a fantastic style. So I'm looking forward to getting a lot more wear out of these boots from River Island. And last but not least is this fab little skort, which is from the Topshop Idol collection. There is something a little bit gossip girly about this as well, but it's a really nice way of still being really fun and feminine, but with also giving a nod to a much more autumnal color in the brown. So that is the last piece that is new in my wardrobe for September. Can't believe it's September already, 2019. Let me know what you guys think down below are there any pieces here that you love or any that are a little bit questionable in your opinion I'd love to know your thoughts and what is new in your wardrobe for September 2019 have you made any amazing investments lately I would love to know so let me know down in the comments and darlings if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up that really helps me out because it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content and then it encourages other people to watch it as well so it really does help me out if you give it a thumbs up and that's all from me, so thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.